So, mirror matchup. Here in the AFC South, Titans, Texans. And it, they got to get into the depth chart here. This is what kind of happens. You wonder why you always see us filling here, RG. It's because you got to get these rosters set up. Yeah, there's three main things you do once you start the game. Some of the guys will pause the game, go into their Jeff chart, as you see on the screen right now, and make sure that they have all the players in the positions that they want them in. And the reason being is you have to sub guys in certain ways in the front end depth chart to make your chemistry work. But once you get here, it's all fair game. The next thing they're going to do is set their formation subs. And that's the thing you do at the play call screen. If you're not using that feature, you better be. And that's so you can put the exact personnel in the exact place you want on a formation um on a formation basis. And then the last one is the audibles on the fly. You need to go to the main formations that you run and pick which plays do you want to bring with you to the line of scrimmage that you can check down to. So those are the three main things we see these guys do at the start of a game. Yeah, we just wanted to give you a look inside of what's happening when you're like, why do these two guys keep yapping? Well, it's because they're setting everything up. They're getting ready to go. That's a little behind the scenes look. Some serious. It's going to have his hands full here with Joe Rice, who's in the all-battle blue of the Houston Texans. And you saw him. He was setting his audibles right there, Scott, and made some formation subs. I'm telling you, if those are mechanics that you're not using and you're interested in competing on Madden on a high level, you really need to go and learn how, how to work those mechanics into your game plan. Boy, Michael Vick's got all kind of room. And if Vick is so overpowered, you almost just ha you have to you almost have to have him, and that's the real Mike Vick. I mean, he's the 128 cap conductor and gunslinger, 97 overall, powered up Mike Vick. This is as good as it gets at the quarterback position in Mutt. And Sharp will get to the 37, 20-yard strike. Boom! How nice are these jerseys, by the way? Looks like a little. Texans color rush. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is the full battle blue. They only wear them about once or twice a year. Look at this pocket presence by Joe Rice, but he's in trouble. Oh, Ixon! Wow! All the way down to the 23 on two pass plays. I warned you about Joe Rice. He won 27 to nothing in the opening round. Wesley Gittins just showing true poise right there. He looks so comfortable, made a great read. And I'll tell you, players, I've said it once, I'll say it again. When I talk to elite type players and I say, who is some of the most underrated players on the circuit? Joe Rice used to be the name that always came up. I heard so many people say it. From young Kiv to even true boy last year told me these same exact things. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think he's an underrated player anymore. Anyone that's been watching us the last few days knows that Joe Rice is the real deal. Oh, there's that energizer. And I think, I, did I say battle blue? It's blue steel. And the red jerseys are battle red. Blue steel. It sounds like something from a Zoolander. Brett Stewart out there in the Texans, sitting there in Houston, maybe tuning in, watching Joe Rice. I'm sorry. I apologize. Saw that sharp with a nice truck, too. He has that energizer ability. And what that does is anytime he has a successful spin or truck on a defender, it's going to fill up his temporary stamina so he can continue to stay on his horse and not be tired if he needs to break another tackle. That's not something we saw a lot of competitors do, but the, those 818 boys definitely incorporated that into their arsenal. And it, it is a good ability to have. It only costs two cap, where something like the gunslinger is going to cost you 20 cap. A playmaker is going to cost you 20 cap. And with that sharp, I mean, you're one broken tackle away from going to the house. And he'll hand it off to Gurley. Maybe missed a hole there, RG. And I, I didn't get a lot of time. I was trying to track some serious down to get some notes on him. I mean, this guy's harder to find than Jimmy Hoffa. You can't get a hold of him. <laughs> And w one thing I did get to do is look at his lineup. He makes his lineup a little bit different. He isn't as focused on chemistries as he is as just getting the best personnel he can on the field. So though some serious might not have the chemistries these guys have, he's made up for it by having so a better D line than what most of these competitors are used to seeing. He actually has some real linebackers out there. He spent the most cap on his wide receivers without ability. So he's going to have very good personnel on his field right now. I got a tradition where I have to say hello to Chin TV. 
TV in the chat, putting up the poggers. And there's a poggers of his own back of the end zone. That's just too wide open. You got to think that's something serious, just over adjusting. Forgets about Moss in the back of the end zone. And you see Joe Rice incorporating that high ball curl route. If you watch these events, one of the best things about them is you can pick up some of these tricks that the players are doing, take them online, and use them against opponents, especially in areas you struggle. And I think one of the main things I've picked up on is throwing those hitch routes and those curl routes when I get to the goal line with that high ball touch pass. Look at this. Easy money. Joe Rice has scored 34 straight points, and he's given up zero in this tournament. I mean, he is as advertising. He, he said it. He said, you know what? Last year he had a full schedule with school because he is a full-time college student in business management. But he said he's cut some, he cut, he was able to get rid of some classes this year. He's still on track to graduate, but that's really helped him commit himself to Madden a little bit more than the way that he would have liked to. Last year he said he has had a full schedule and he wasn't even able to put the time in that he really wanted to to get his game to where it needs to be. Boy, I haven't seen Thompson all tournament. And Chris Thompson will pick up four yards. Yeah, that's the 82 overall Chris Thompson Mutt Heroes edition. And he's only 33 cap. So I'm told you, some serious is going to have a very unique roster. He also doesn't have a tight end. He runs four wide receivers in his offense. And th that's a little something different that we haven't seen from a lot of the competitors. He has Julio Jones, Calvin Johnson, Tyreek Hill, and Randy Moss. How's that for a receiving core, Scott? Well, that's Hall of Fame right there is what that is. Third and six. Toss with a spin. That'll pick up the first down. Opening drive here for some serious. Yeah, I'm liking him. Just running this four wide. It's a little gun spread. He's about to come out in, and it's a different look. You, you got to think, Joe Rice has been preparing for the meta and gun bunch, and something serious comes out here in a gun spread four wide receiver. You got to think, how much prep has Joe Rice put in on this type of scheme? And there's a sack. Joey Bosa, maybe you know him. Yeah, this is going to be the problem with the spread, Scott, is you don't have any tight end over here that you can block to kind of help pick up that pressure. So. It's going to be hard to buy some time in that pocket. Almost got free again, and he throws a pickens. And Joe Rice is going to take over at the 36 as Ed Reed hauls in. Yeah, throws a pickens with the Mike Vickens. That might as well have been a punt. Now, if you're Joe Rice, you need to take advantage of it. Look at that new era, Scully. Scully, though, they got hats, they got Scullies. I'm telling you, Scott, if I don't wet my beak by the time we get out of here, man. Uh oh, you, you you didn't get a you didn't get a you didn't get a hoodie, little little Scully. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, they were passing them out. I'm gonna find a new dinner partner. <laughs> no Chinese food for you tonight. I got absolutely nothing this week. Just hanging out. I I do have stickers oh, at the wow. desk and. Joe Rice, I'm going to go ahead and put a warning out here. If you got young kids watching, you might want to turn them away. This might get ugly. Oh, man, some serious just, it just it's got to, you can't have people that wide open. It's as simple as that, Scott. He's got to be over adjusting. There's the Keva. Watching his 818 buddy, Joe Rice. And remember, Kiv, Joe Rice, Crush, and Serious Mo all came into this event with the same game plan, the same lineup. All of them made some noise, some really good games, but Joe Rice, the last man standing in that 818 crew right now. Yeah, this is wide open, Scott. User nowhere to be found. Some serious, you got to get it going here. There's a one hand grab by Julio. And let's keep in mind, a lot of people didn't give some serious a chance in his first round matchup against Spoto. And he was came able back to and beat him. Yep. Came back and won that game. And Big George told me, he said, keep an eye out for him. We've really been getting it in. And one thing about something serious that I want to put out there is guys like him and Big George, they have a lot of reps online. I mean, these are guys that were playing, uh, you know, hundreds of games online, a lot of repetition. So, you know, when you have that type of experience, you're not going to be able to give up because you've been in every situation so many times. The problem is you haven't been on that situation in the big on the big stage yet.
All right, chat. Some serious needs you to give him his energy. Give your energy to that man. He's down 14. He's got some supporters in the chat that are trying to gas him up. He's on a good drive right here and takes off with Vic. You got to be careful. Oh, no. oh. And Rice is going to recover. Oh, man. I'm going to throw up. Right when you say the supporters in the chat trying to get Gaston. Just deflates all the momentum right there. If you're some serious, this is going to be a huge defensive stand. You cannot let Joe Rice just get down the field right now and make this a three-possession ball game. If there was ever a time to stand up for yourself, if you're some serious, it's going to be on this defensive possession right here so you can get yourself back in this ball game. Joe Rice now already up two scores. That's a tight window. But picks up seven. It's going to be third and three. I'm serious. He's in this nickel normal defense. You got to think Joe Rice just has to be so used to going up against this defensive look. Vic. Once again for Joe Rice. I mean, right now he's like he's in practice mode. Now Matt, how nice must it be to be just this prolific on offense, Scott? He is just walking up the field right now, effortlessly. And he's going up top to Roberts. And he'll haul oh. it in in double coverage. <laughs> Look at Wesley Kittens. Just a little smirk on his face goes up 21 nothing. That's a 98 speed Andre Roberts, uh, Scott. And he's one of the best budget speedsters. And you didn't see him on a lot of lineups. I believe the only players I saw that had him on the lineups was the 818 boys. So that's good. Uh, not only good on the sticks, but that's good GM work right there. From good Joe Rice on the return. Oh. I mean, he's got B, and he just says, forget about it. I'm going up top, and he racks it. Hey, oh, go. man, if you're some serious, you need to do on, something serious to get yourself back in this ball game. First this and is 10. looking ugly to start off, and he's looking good right here. I mean, he's he's thrown a couple of good dots. He's had some good scrambles with Vic. He just needs to put it together for a touchdown. And then defense is going to be a whole other problem. I don't got no answers for you there. That'll bring up a second and four right at midfield at the 50-yard line. This is a $13,000 game of Madden. And overthrows Julio. Try to haul it in with one hand. He's serious. He still looks focused. He's locked in. I'm telling you, I like this guy's aura. That's one thing about him. He always has such a positive aura around him. And that's what you're going to need right now if you want to come back into this ball game. And it's a... Bomb that's going to be picked off. It's Kyle Fuller from Virginia Tech. And Joe Rice is going to have it again, RG. Now, if you're Joe Rice, the question is, yeah, you're going to run the ball and just slow this game down. But sometimes when you feel in such a rhythm on offense, you don't want to do that. You might want to just keep the pedal on the metal and keep on rocking. You have some breathing room here to make a mistake, so I wouldn't be surprised, yeah, if he just continues to come out here and slang this ball around. And that's what he continues to do. They'll tell you, Scott, some of the best times to take shot plays is when you got a big lead because you, you, you have room to, if it doesn't go your way. It's not like it's that devastating. He's a 10 of 11 in the passing game. Hands it off to Gurley there. Gurley's got six carries for 12 yards. It's going to be that flood concept. You're going to have a corner, a flat in the streak. Joe Rice just takes the easy flat check down. This is, this is basic Madden ball we're seeing right here from Rice, but just making it look so easy. Here comes third and three. Five down linemen. Oh, good pressure. Oh, so serious! With a 
what a serious heated pick. Can't get away from Randy Moss, though. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that pressure he dialed up, Scott? Everybody and their mama was coming after the quarterback. And then he gets the pick. He really needed to be able to take that the other way with how the offense was struggling. But nonetheless, finally, a little bit of momentum yeah, pick for a guy some serious. Pick six with a... We'd have a ball game. He's just five of ten in the passing game. Scott Cole and RG along with you. Phenomenal. Here from Redwood City, California. Sort of the new home of man football. And you got to think his buddy Big George watching, telling him don't give up. And one of the funny things about some serious, this is a guy who on the leaderboards would have qualified for the club championship last year, Scott, but he didn't know about the MCS and he didn't have his Mutt Rewards linked. So he missed out on the party. He said, you know what, this year I'm going to make sure I sign up properly. Wow. And here he is now representing his favorite team, the Tennessee Titans. But he's going to need to get a touchdown, turn this into a ball game, and so far so good on this drive. Well, if you're liking what you're seeing right now, we got bonus coverage tomorrow. We're going to extend our coverage, and we're going to start at 2.30 Eastern time. And, yeah, that's right. We are going to be rocking and rolling all day long up to the finals on ESPN. It's the final day tomorrow. We get started at 2.30 Eastern time. I'm always down for some bonus. That's not in the morning, RG. Don't come up here at 2.30 in the morning. That's in the afternoon. It's going to be bananas, though. Final minute of the half. You need something positive to happen right here. High ball to the slot. No, he missed it. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be picked. After oh. the high point got knocked away, and he almost hauled it in on the tip. Well, there's a little difference in uh, Joe Rice's defense on that curl route in the back compared to some serious. Joe Rice with two defenders in the area. Oh, there's Moss. And he will haul it in. Some serious is on the board. And some serious looking for a serious comeback. And I'll tell you what, Scott, when you're going up against an elite player like Joe Rice, who's so heavily favored, who practices with such elite competition, it can do wonders for your confidence after you get that first touchdown on the board and you kind of tell yourself, okay, I can do this as long as I don't make any mistakes. I'm still playing the same game that I've always been playing. And there he goes. He gives his Randy Moss with that high ball a chance to make a play. And it, it's fine. I know they can roast the messenger. They'll, they'll probably go in on the chat. But if you're not throwing that high ball in the red zone, you're doing it wrong. Joe Rice just continues to get this crossing route, but it's out of bounds. Let me be real with you, RG. If I'm playing a $13,000 game of Madden, I'm doing whatever it takes. You got to go scum. Whatever's in the game that's legal, I'm doing it. Doug, have you seen how well the Patriots play the last few years in the real NFL? If you can go scum, you go scum. As long as it's in the rules. And oh, some serious for the serious work! And he's got three timeouts and the ball to 44. That's a game face right there. That is a game face, Scott. For someone that went down 21 nothing. he doesn't look discouraged at all. And Memphis, Tennessee, stand up. Because your man is out here representing, and he's trying to fight. Dickens. Oh, oh Wixon. And he'll take his first time out. If you've heard of Hickson Gracie, that was Sticks and Gracie right there. A little a spin cycle with the Vickens. A little Madden magic here at the end of the half. Some serious. There's all kinds of life right now, and he's got blocks. He's, he's going to take it into the crib. No. Out of bounds at the one. How about this comeback? Scott, it came out of nowhere, getting interceptions, moving the ball with the thick and showing the stick work, showing the poise. Something serious, looking like he's something serious for real. Needs one yard to get within a touchdown, and he will. Wow, what a swing of momentum, Coltrane. I have no words. Now you ask the chat, 
Something serious making the comeback in the second half. Give me the one. If Joe Rice holds on, give me the two. And he'll kick it away. And he'll go out of the end zone with 18 seconds left in the half. Big Brother's own Ricky Williams. They try to kick him out. The Big Brother house uses the power of Vito, gets in for six. Vic. Wow, he's screaming. That's Shaquem Griffin getting in there with a the sack. He might take this to the half. We'll see. He's going to break the huddle here. He's got some goons on that D-line. Shaquem Griffin, Bruce Irvin, Vic Beasley. And we will head to halftime. Wow, what a comeback. He was down 21. He was on the mat. Joe Rice had the ball. He was about to go up by four scores. And here comes that man right there. It is a little chilly in here. I'm okay with the hat choice. See him rubbing those hands. He's He knows. Uh, he's licking his chops. He's ready to get this game. So he's like, I got all the momentum. It might be chilly in here, but I'm hot right now. So let's keep it going. If you're something serious, he got all kinds of momentum, even though you're down seven. It was, I was getting nervous, Scott. You know, when, know. when it's a flood, we start talking about players' favorite meals. I didn't have none of those notes on something serious. I was like, what are we going to do? And then he says, you know what? I got you. I'm going to make it a ball game and make it a ball game. He did. Well, if you missed it, here it is. Joe Rice coming out in the opening part of the game goes up top. To add more, he was up 21, and he's feeling it right there. He's he's already making a shopping list for that 20 grand, and then, uh-oh. This is the turning point right there, and some serious dialed up that blitz. And he took advantage. That was good user control defense by him, and then throws the high ball. The Moss was getting it done on offense. And then here's another big pick, user lurk. Man, he's just making plays, Scott, and that's what you need to do. You get down on a ball game, it's on you to make plays. And that's exactly what he's doing here. So impressed right now by the newcomer. Well, there's the youngster, Blocky. He's sitting there <laughs> waiting to see who's next. Boy, Travis makes an appearance well, on the What's Travis broadcast? doing in I the mean, Players' I'm Lounge? Look at him. <laughs> it's in my contract that we never show Travis. But he's back there hanging out. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're seven years old or 77 years old. Madden football is amazing. I'll tell you what, the T God Travis, he's a member of the EA admin team, and he came in, he didn't know a whole bunch about Madden, but over these last few years, he's entrenched himself with the community. He loves these guys' stories. He loves being back there interacting with them. And there's the T God right there. We love you, Trav. And he was amazing in Wolverine. He was fantastic. <laughs> You know his son Dylan's going to be home watching too. What up, Dill? Well, now some serious has an opportunity to tie this ball game. He's at wow. midfield, right just shy of the 46. With the rock, Scott. Oh my goodness! If you talk about a momentum swing, if I've ever seen one, can he keep this going on the opening drive? Oh my goodness! The throw away. So many people behind the scenes. I mean, we could we could list names forever over the last four years of the MCS. We're just in our second major here at the club championship. We still got the challenge, and it all leads to the Madden Bowl in April. These guys are trying to get one step closer. Remember, we're talking about the cash, but the MCS points are huge too. So you can be around, be a part of that final 16 at the end of the year. Third and one for some serious. Yeah, Joe Rice, you need to get a spy on the field. Hopefully he has a spy to take away some of some serious runs. Yeah, there's a spy from that linebacker. Help contain Vic. And can't get it to Julio. It's a good adjustment by Joe Rice. You know, at one point he was five of 10, but he's completed five of his last eight passes there in that second quarter to okay. cut this thing to a seven-point ball game. Now he's got a big play here, Scott. Huge fourth and one. What a dot. L. 
prolific. And you know what? Now that he's established the scrambling with Vic, it's going to be hard for Joe Rice to dial up that pressure. And you might find yourself some extra time in that pocket. Oof. If Big you're some hit. serious. On to Thompson. And he'll put the ball carrier to conservative, like immediately. And that's what you got to do right now. Anything to keep this drive going. And wow. Oh, gets it to drop. Jones. Lucky for Joe Rice. He got that strip animation off of the catch. Big third and eight. And there's the playmaker, but no, he'll just run out of bounds. Another big fourth down coming up, Scott. Got to go. And I like, oh, he's. Who's his kicker? I mean, they're all Dan Bailey, I'm sure. It's Dan Bailey. Yeah. Another takeaway. If you're building a salary cap, <laughs> it seems like them better. Go get that 10 cap Dan Bailey off the auction house. It can't be that many coins. This is big, Scott. Fourth and seven. Oh, no. Uses a timeout. Uses a timeout. That's how big he thinks this play is. Wow. Here early in the third. It'll be interesting to see if that comebacks to haunt them. Especially if you don't get the first down here. He needs to get to the 28 and a half. Has a pocket half time. Great timeout. I knew it was a great timeout. And we are tied at 21. Oh, my goodness. And here's the thing. His name, it's not something serious. It's some so, serious. I, some serious. Hey, I'm from the South. It's something serious. It's something serious. Oh, man. And you got to be thinking they're going nuts. Back there in Memphis, Tennessee, George said the whole city supports us. They all know we're the Madden guys. We're going to be watching, and, man, it's got to be jumping out there. If you're from Memphis, Tennessee, and you're hyped, let me see a one in the chat. I'm telling you what. Chat's on slow mode, and it's still going crazy. Oh, man, we got ourselves ball game. 21 unanswered for Joe Rice. And I feel 21 unanswered for some serious RG. Oh, if you're Joe Rice, man, you've put in so much work this year. You, you got all the talent in the world. You're really getting yourself tested right now by a player you don't know much about. And this is baptism on the fire. You want to break up to that next level. You want to be that next level elite of Madden player. These are the type of battles you're going to have to get through. We saw some magic. He wasn't on a feature stream, but we saw some magic out of him. Versus Spoto. And here it comes again. I'll tell you, man, a good game plan with a good attitude will take you a long way in this sport, Scott. Good read by Joe. And it doesn't matter what you believe. Magic, karma. And it matters what some serious believes. But now he's got to stand up. All that's going to matter at the end of the day is what that scoreboard tells us when that clock hits zero. Shannon with a truck. Second and four from the seven now. And some serious. He is dialing it up with a 5-2 defense. You don't see anybody run a 5-2 front. But that's what we're seeing from some serious, and he's dialed up the heat from it. But Joe Rice handling it so far on this drive. And there's the heat again. He goes and he's it. got it. He's got it from the five. Two blitz forced the book. Ed Reed. <laughs> Did you hear his celebration too, Scott? Let's go. Look at this blitz. There's a party in the backfield by the quarterback. He has to rush the ball out. And another interception by Sirius. This is bananas. Got to be careful here in the shadows of your own end zone. Vickens trying to get away from the spy. Nice job covering it up. He's going to lose a yard there, though. Oh, Joe Rice. And you see Rice. He, he, he's not panicking, though. I don't see panic up there. 
I just think that that 5-2 defense and pressure is not something he's been prepared for, and Sirius has blatantly caught him off guard with it. It's kind of defense you'd run kind of like offline, like out of, you know, you just run into some random and play some games like he's in a 5-2. And I guess he's also he's in that multiple defensive playbook from the notes I have here. So that multiple defense, very popular with the 4-3 and the nickel normal and the over G. But who knew the 5-2 would have been a factor? I want to make sure I get this name right. I think it's Sonane in chat. Says, what's up, RG and Scott? Are you enjoying day three of Madden? No. Do you know who so it's, This is amazing. It's amazing. Do you know who that is? Who is that? That's Brother Ghost. That's Ghost's brother right there. That's the champ's brother. And look at Sirius. You know, we saw him last night. He was going to put up some hoops. Asked me if I was coming. I said, I'm old, man. I'm old. You know, when I... I don't know everyone's Twitch chat name. Here's the thing. When I saw them going to play ball and I saw Big Kwani was going with, I'm <laughs> like, who's going to handle Kwani in the paint? That's why I need to get a Maybe. recap of who handled Kwani in the paint because I didn't see none of them matching up with him. Final seconds of the third. He was down by 21. Now he's got an opportunity to take the lead. He's in field goal range. And he's going to take it to the fourth quarter. Puts your fours up, Scott, on a 21-0 run. Is some serious with the ball? I, I mean, it was it was ugly. I mean, it was. I, I thought we were going to switch to another game. We don't have another game going on. I thought it was going to be Chow playing Minesweeper. But next thing you know, we are tied, 21 apiece. Five minutes to go to decide who's going to move on and play Blocky. Unbelievable. Here's the start of the fourth quarter. Five minutes to go. Put your fours up in the chat. This has been the game of the week. I'll tell you what, Scott. I missed a few events with you. Didn't get to call all the games. Missed the Madden Classic, but you know what? Gosh, it feels good to be back. It's good to have you back. Thanks, partner. Third and three. We gotta go somewhere good to eat tonight, but I'm serious. We have we have not done we have not done this town justice yet. It's long days, man. Stop, stop, stop. Got French onion soup coming out my ears. <laughs> <laughs> soup of champions, third and three. Oh, big oh no! That'll push them back. <laughs> See what ha happened was <laughs> that's the first. Uh, First sign of frustrate, frustration we've seen from Sirius despite his slow start. Wow, that's a perfect kick. I don't know if he has the leg is the problem. This is Dan Bailey, 79 overall. He does have a little bit of the win with him. It's not going to get blocked. It's just about if it has the distance. It's up and it is good. And some Sirius has the lead. Are you kidding me? 24-0 run. <laughs> Look at Blocky. Blocky's paying close attention. Wow. Here's the standings in the MCS. Blocky is now number two. Another win, and bye-bye Skimbo. We'll see Skimbo later on today at the desk to end the day. But Blocky is quietly moving up the MCS standings. And now Joe Rice has got to answer. Here's his first play. Sharp gets away. And pushes it out to the 44. I didn't know about that last spin right here, Scott. Felt unnecessary. Just keep running. It's like he spun right into the defender. Get spin happy out here. You see he's got Energizer on him. He knew he had plenty of plenty of stam to maybe run by him. You see the play art. This is some, here's the play art from some serious point of view. And look at this pressure. He's dialing up. They are screaming out of that 5-2, Scott. Yeah, we're showing the defense here, and I guarantee half the chat just pulled out a notebook. Oh, if you're blocky <laughs> back there, you're like, yo, can you, can you keep, keep it, it on this view? Can you keep it on that view for me one time, please? Here's the offensive side of the ball. Watch this post of B. Nice job covering up oh, the user. Yeah. Oh, he it should have been picked. He's got room. Randy Moss inside oh. the 10. Touchdown, oh. Joe Rice. Oh. Wow. 
You can hear the commotion from the players' lounge. A game of inches looked like it could have been pick six. No dice for some serious right there, though. That might be a 14-point swing. You're right. He was going to pick that off, take it to the cribbo, and instead, Randy Moss from West Virginia will take it all the way back. Played his college ball at Marshall. If you're some serious, you need to pick that head back up, man. You, you've been playing tough this whole time. No one expected you to be here. Make it this far. Well, we're not supposed to say guap because we're old, but this is the guap drive right here. Call it the guala, the guali, the cheddar, the cheese, the bread, the moolah, the money, the chalupas, the cheeseburgers. Swings it outside to Thompson. Whatever you want to call it, Squat, you're right. This is a big drive right here for our guy, Nikal Powell, 26 years old from Memphis, Tennessee, repping those Titans. Joe Rice representing his Texans. Throw, and somehow Tyreek will move the chains. You're in no hurry here. Yeah, if you're some serious, you wouldn't mind scoring with little to no time left just because of how prolific we know Joe Rice is on offense. It's so high powered. The problem is you also want to give yourself some room. If I do get stopped, give myself a chance to play some defense and get the ball back. So this is a very awkward situation for him. Whoa, he oh, throws no a high animation. point. No animation. Overthrow and he might go. That's huge for Rice. Must the hat in this game, oh. Oh, Still man. could hold him to three here, and it'd be a one-possession game. And one of the things that I'm going to wonder if it's going to be key is this this timeout, timeout right there that some serious use does have a two-minute warning. To them. Remember, two-minute warning will help. Use that timeout early in the third Ooh. quarter, Scott. You're right. The two minute will help. That was and that, Chad look, Johnson that didn't animate, or was yeah, that Calvin? It was, looked like a good read. Now he doesn't have Chad Johnson. It had to have been Calvin. He has Calvin, Tyreek, Moss, and Julio. Yeah. Megatron yeah. didn't transform and pick that up. The only thing I could think of is maybe if he went for a possession catch instead of an aggressive, but you never know. Ooh, can't throw a bullet pass there. He's sending it up. He's still dialing it up. Oh. Third and inches. Now, most ma veteran Madden players, they have inches defense. Let's see if some serious has something in I his mean, arsenal. He runs a 5-2 base. I'll tell you, them 8-1-8 boards are the ones known for holding the door. Oh, boy. That's what some serious needs to do right here. Stop that quarterback sneak. On a fullback dive. I'm not sure I don't go outside here. He's going to go to the fullback, and it's going to be a first down. And Joe Rice might escape. Some serious will have maybe 30 seconds. If Joe Rice just decides to run this ball three times and then take his three, some serious might have 30 seconds to maybe get downfield and score a touchdown. But one of the things we've seen from the youth guys is that they've been passing in these situations a little bit. If you're Joe Rice, you got to hope he's smart enough, Scott, to just continue to run this ball. If I'm him, I'm running, I'm taking my three, and you got to score a touchdown with 24 seconds. The only thing that's scary about that is you risk the kick return or the kick block. He's on conservative ball carrier. Here comes another 30 seconds off the clock, third and 10. Regardless of what happens in this game, Scott, you, you got to remember both of these players. A lot of respect for them. Throw a one in the chat to pay some homage to some serious and Joe Rice. So they both deserve it for this performance, but it's not over yet, Scott. A little shift along the line. Gurley. Serious running to that backfield trying to lay a big hit. Yeah, he's going to have about 15 seconds. Here's what you need to do if you're some serious. If Joe Rice is going to try to kick this field goal, if he doesn't kick it perfectly, you have a chance to fly off that edge and block the kick. And I know we don't like block kicks in competitive Madden, 
But it's a thing. If you really don't want to see him make a gentleman's agreement before the game, not the block any. And I don't think that's happened here. So if you're some serious, you have to go for the glory right here. There's a timeout by Joe Rice. Yep, he, so I'm serious. He, he's gonna, it's gonna try to come right off of this edge right here. It's perfect, it's though. It's perfect. Wow. Matter. Ice in your veins if you're Rice. Ice in your veins if you're Joe Rice. When you need a perfect kick, Scott, he gets it. Now you gotta watch out for the kick return. I, I think he might go sky kick a squib kick. Kick it very high. It's gonna uh -oh. be returnable. This is Tyreek. Can we get magic one more time for some serious? Oh. You see, Joe Rice he says, I have the goons up there. What that tells me is he sets his death chart up in a way to make sure that the goons, those hitters, and those speedsters that you would want on the kick coverage are there. You don't get those 10 cap guys get caught on the kick coverage. We talk about the progressive kick coverage. Joe Rice has it. Maybe a player two. Oh, He'll oh. get out of bounds. This might be it. You just need to buy yourself some time and chuck it to give one of those big receivers a chance to make a play. You have Randy Moss, Julio Jones, Tyree Kill, Calvin Johnson. You have to give them a chance here. You can't do what Jeff did earlier and take a sack. Check it down to Thompson. He'll get out of bounds. Okay. Smart, huh? Smart, Two Scott. good plays. He's got 53 yards to go. He's got to get to the end zone here. Oh, man. Can Vic buy enough time? Final play for some serious. Rolling, throwing. You this have a is chance. a miracle. Oh! Dropped and he got his hand on it. Oh, what a ball game. Let me see the show of respect right there. And you better put some respect on both of these players' names. They just put on a show for us, Coltrane. 31-24. We had two 21-0 runs. The Madden NFL Club Championship is brought to you by Progressive. Scored more savings at Progressive.com. Here comes the young Joe Rice over to join us. Get set up. Big shout out to Allie. She's going to throw the headset on him, and we're going to be rocking and rolling. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, Joe Rice, you were dominant uh, in the first game. You won 27 to nothing. Uh huh. You scored another 21 points to start this. Yep. And then some mad magic came in, and we had a ball game. Yeah, um, as Kev always tells me, I have this, that inner Georgie and almost came out. I thought the Falcons. I got, <laughs> oh, no. I was, I was scary. I would never hear the end of that one, I'll tell you that. I mean, how much did his defense throw you off? It seemed like once he went to that 5-2, which was an awkward look, he was able to get some serious pressure on your quarterback, which forced turnovers. Did that Was that messing with you at all? I mean, it was messing me a little bit, but I felt like I, it, was my, it was all my fault. Like I, I made some bad reads that I know I shouldn't make. Let's take a look at that game-winning touchdown here, Joe. This was everything. Walk us through it. Well, I, I blocked seven, picked it up. Wow. He, he baited me, honestly. He, he deserved that pick. He deserved to pick that for six, probably. And he did do a phenomenal job. Look at the spin Whoop. move, though, Rice. Oh, my goodness. You got to get him to 82 spin, don't you? Yep. But, oh, man. I got, I got super lucky right there. Was, he baited me. And hey, here's the final play. I know this is in triple coverage, but RG seems to think that Randy Moss got a hand on it here. He probably did. Look at that one-hand animation. Like he, he that, got he got the right animation to catch it. Yeah, that was scary for you, man. That, that, your good. heart's got to skip a beat in that oh, situation, that, it, huh? It skipped a few. <laughs> well, the good news is you're moving on. You're yep. 20 grand richer. The bad news is you're about to play hey, Blocky. <laughs> yeah, Blocky's really good. Yeah. It's going to be a good game. All yep. right. Well, congratulations to you. I'll let you, let you go uh, focus on playing a $20,000 game of Madden versus Blocky a little later on. Let's go to Rico, see what's going on.